This is the Villa Antonori IGT Toscana 2010. Um, you've offered many vintages of this wine, um, and it's always a, a favorite. This wine, of course, you know, the history is that it was the, uh, it was their Chianti Classico <laughs> many, many, many years ago. Um, Antinori, always forward thinking, uh, they wanted to use more international grapes. Um, and as this wine is today, it's 55% uh, Sangiovese, 25% Cabernet, 10% um, Merlot, 5% Syrah. So uh, you weren't allowed to do that in Cola Chianti. So this became their um, sort of a signature red wine for the estate that was not uh, labeled Chianti. But, uh, you know, some of the best grapes on the estate still go into this wine. And they uh, age it for a full 12 months in oak barrels. They use a combination of French, Hungarian, American oak. And then they allow it to bottle age um, another eight months so the flavors come together, this tannin soften. And the nose is so pretty. It's very sort of uh, light red cherry notes. Little hints of vanilla on there. A little bit of a sort of maybe a tobacco -y note along with that. Yeah, a little more of that cherry. Hmm. Smells good. <laughs> Let's try it. Um, <clears throat> it's really coming across as very forward on the palate. Nice flavors, those cherry notes really coming through. Um, and then on the mid palate, it turns more kind of uh, vanilla, dark chocolate. Um, some of those sort of uh, tobacco y, cedary notes also coming up there. But, um, you know, that bottle age really gives the, gives the wine a chance to settle down soften, let those flavors come out. Um, always a terrific wine. And you don't have to match it up with anything fancy. You can eat this, with, you can drink this with, you know, everyday food, burgers, pasta, good stuff, enjoy.